Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey, once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Going to welcome you back to a political forum. And today we're going to be talking for uh, the last time to one of the candidates that's running for the mayor of the city of Red Bay. The reason I say the last time, because election is coming up on Tuesday, October the 4th, and that's just around the corner. We're going to bring her in right now. And she's got the lead going into this race on Tuesday, and her name is Charlene Fancher. Charlene, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Jack. Good Thank to see you. you. And I know you've been working hard. I uh, see you out and about. Uh, I know you've been out going door to door, and I know you've been working Jerry very hard. But is very campaign hard. going good? It's going fantastic. And uh, I certainly want to say that I appreciate the, the vote of support the, the citizens gave me on August 23rd. Uh, I don't take things for granted, Jack. The next day, I. I rolled up my sleeves and started fresh and went back door to door and been working hard ever since. So we're, we're in the home stretch. That sounds good. What we're going to try to accomplish today is if there's anybody out there that uh, hadn't had a chance to meet Charlene or maybe you're watching it for the first time, we're going to let you know a little bit more about her today. And we're also, we're going to talk about this campaign a little bit more in depth and what you can expect out of Charlene Fancher if she's elected as your next mayor. And of course, Charlene, for the folks that might be watching the first time, your roots run real deep in Red Bay, Alabama. And and I know that you're excited about uh, uh, talking to the citizens today. Uh, you want to let the citizens know a little bit more about Charlene just in case they're watching for the first time? Yes, uh, Jack, you know, this is my third interview, like you said, but there may be uh, citizens who didn't watch the first and second. I'd like to bring you up to date on who I am and what I'm about. Uh, I've been a lifelong resident of Red Bay. Uh, I'm proud to say that I married a Marine, Jerry Paul Fancher, Jr. And uh, we've been married for 28 years. Uh, Jerry and I have two children, Grant Fancher, and he's married to Devin Crane Fancher. We have a daughter, Gretchen, who's married to Josh Inman. Uh, my parents are the late Charles Hastings. My mom is Jean Hastings. Uh, Jerry's parents are the late Paul Fancher. His mother is Joyce Fancher. Um, Jerry and I own and operate a small business uh, that we've had for many years. It's called Fancher's Taxidermy and Deer Processing right here in Red Bay. In addition to my job, uh, uh, as a council member that I've been for eight years. Um, I'm also administrative assistant at Red Bay Hospital. Been there a year now. Working with the world famous uh, Mr. Jones the out there. The world famous Mr. Glenn Jones, yes. They do a wonderful job out there too, don't Fantastic they? Fantastic job. I want to say if you're joining us today for the first time on our political forum, we've been doing this for many years, Charlene, and uh, of course not only have you been on here during the mayor's race, you were on actually when you was running for council and what we want to accomplish here on the political forum is to let you know more about the candidate and because uh, they've got to make that decision uh, coming up on Tuesday. And uh, of course, Charlene, uh, you came out of the first primary in the lead mm -hmm. and uh, stuff and uh, in this mayoral campaign. How does it feel, first of all, to be in the lead? And uh, I'm sure that's even made, knowing you, made you even work a little harder, hasn't it? Well, exactly. Um, I'm not comfortable beginning in the lead. Um, uh, like I said before, I don't take things for granted. Uh, I am passionate about this job as mayor. I've been tr uh, training for a long time. You might say I've been a work in progress, Jack, for right. a long time. My roots from, uh, run very deep in Red Bay, and uh, my uh, sole intention is to make progress in Red Bay and make a better quality of life for all the citizens here. So I'm very eager. I'm excited to go to work. Uh, I'm glad that we're in the home stretch because my mind is constantly moving every day about what I can do and what I want to do with Red Bay and, and what we can do and achieve together. Red Bay is all about teamwork. It's all about the wonderful people who live here, people who volunteer constantly to make projects happen. And uh, it's not all about me. It's about the people. And that's what I'm, I'm running for mayor is about the people of Red Bay. Charlie and Fancher, our special guest here on the political forum. And uh, of course, you mentioned uh, that we're nearing the finish line. The finish line, of course, means Tuesday. And then don't forget the polls are going to be opening up at 7 in the morning. They'll close at 7. And I'm sure you've uh, got to uh, talk about a lot of the priorities you'd like to see. Let's touch on those priorities that you'd like to see well, for Red Bay. Jack, I've got a long list of priorities. And of course, I'm not going to uh, touch on those all today. And I guess that comes with being here in Red Bay all my life. Been having 19 years of experience, I'm, I'm constantly uh, doing my homework with the city and, and looking at things that can improve. And you know, I explained in my two prior interviews about the roles as a council member and a role as a mayor. And of course, roles of council members, I said earlier, is about uh, making laws and, and, and helping enforce the rules. But you know, the mayor is a different capacity. The mayor is uh, in charge of day-to-day -day responsibilities and, and can make more things happen. And, and I'm eager um, to put my work, uh, my experience to work and, um, 
and look for new challenges, new opportunities, uh, better ways of improving our municipal government. And so I've got a lot of, uh, a few priorities I'd like to talk about today. And uh, one of those at the top of my list and um, talked about it, it's, it's no secret, it's, it's quite evident that our streets need help. Um, uh, it's, it's disheartening to me. I, uh, as a matter of fact, a couple of weeks ago, I had some out of town folks who live very near Red Bay and said, Charlene said, you know, it, it's got to where it's, it, I don't really like coming into Red Bay. You know, your, your streets are, are in bad shape, you know, and we, I really would like to see, you know, some improvement there. And I said, you know, just hold on. That's on the way. I'm really excited about Golden Road Project. You know, that's underway. That's been a work in progress since 2013. And so the bridge is being repaired. Golden Road is going to be paved. We've had a lot of uh, utility work uh, on several different highways and roads in Red Bay. We've got to make sure that gets completed before we do any major uh, pa paving because you're really defeating the purpose. You know, if all those utilities are, are not um, installed now, then we'll have a lot of repairs later on in our new resurfaced highway. So first things first, you know, but uh, progress is on the way about our streets. Got a big question for you here. There's no doubt if you kind of look at the uh, record, of course, uh, uh, Charlene's got a lot of experience when it comes to this race. And uh, uh, looking at the records, there's no doubt you got the, the most qualifications to be the next mayor. 19 mm -hmm. years experience in municipal government. Uh, you also served as a Red Bay City Clerk and what was pretty interesting there under six different mayors and of course uh, these 19 years experience uh, uh, gets you ready for this job doesn't it? Exactly. Uh, I often think about Jack and reminisce about the different mayors that I've worked with through the years. I've learned a lot of attributes from each one of them. Um, a lot of do's and don'ts and a lot of advice and I, uh, I cherish that. Uh, it's going to help me in my job as mayor and so um, in different capacities from council to mayor uh, and having worked with six mayors, I understand the details. It's all about the details, you know. It's not always about what you just see on the surface, but the job of mayor is very complex, very multitasked job. And so I feel that, uh, more than feel that I'm ready to take on that responsibility. And that's very important that uh, the details, you know, are. are Paid attention to. So. And I failed to mention in there, you've also got two terms under your belt as a councilwoman for Red Bay too. That's so right. uh, that mm -hmm. gives you a lot of experience from that capacity. So you've worked in the clerk's office uh, under six different mayors. Uh, you've also been a councilwoman uh, for uh, eight years. Eight years. Mm -hmm. And of course, now you want to be Red Bay's, would this be Red Bay's first uh, female mayor ever? Be the first. First. Yes. That'd be pretty awesome, yeah. wouldn't it? Yes, it will. You know, uh, you talked a little bit about priorities. Let's go into a little bit more details on the mm -hmm. priorities if you're elected mayor. Uh, the next priority uh, after the streets that will be addressed immediately, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about, and this goes along hand in hand with uh, streets, is our sewer system. Sewer system is an ongoing, continual project. Uh, we have lots of old sewer lines in Red Bay and it's very expensive to replace sewer lines. And uh, that will be an ongoing project. And, but I wanna take that one step further. Um, I think we can do, and this goes along with accountability, and I'm all about accountability. I think that we can, in all aspects of our finances with the city, we can do better about utilizing our resources. You know, it, it's it's easy to spend somebody else's money. Right. Do you agree with that? I agree. A lot more. <laughs> but lot, I lot take easier. I take the finances of our city very seriously. Um, there's rules to go by. There's ways of saving money, and I want to ensure. And I'm a I'm on the budget committee for the city. Have been for a long time, and um, it's all about the numbers, Jack. And uh, I want to make sure that all of our um, funds are. We have several, many funds with the city that we're utilizing the best resources and uh, we're spending our mon money wisely, you know, that we curtail spend, uh, expenses so that we can have money for grants when they come available so that we can pave roads and, and do the things that we need to to make the best services for our city. So, and I, I, one more thing about that, um, and uh, no one respects our senior citizens no more than I do. Uh, I have the utmost respect for them and I'm, I'm proud to say that we do give our seniors a discount on garbage and uh, sewer. And so, but I would, you know, it's a goal of mine to do better in our finances, to see that we can hopefully one day do better for all the citizens, 
you know, it would, you don't uh, see decreases very much anymore, but uh, that's a goal of mine. I'm not saying that we can decrease, but I sure would like to work hard on that to see what we can do to make things better with that. You know, a lot of folks, uh, when they deal with the, whether it's the city, if they're dealing with the police department, if they're dealing with the fire departments, uh, a lot of folks like to talk about fairness. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about fairness uh, if you was mayor. Well, when we talk about fairness, I'm going to have to tell a little story about my husband. And, um, will he approve this story here? He will approve. Okay. He, he will approve, and he'll just have to because I'm going to tell it <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. But um, in the fall of 2013, and I'm telling this because this is going to explain how I feel about fairness. In the fall of 2000, uh, 2013, Jerry Paul was coming home from work about 3 or 4 in the morning. And, uh, of course, he's telling me this story later on in the morning. And uh, he decided to take a shortcut back home. He hit the new highway, the new 24, and it hadn't uh, actually opened yet. And so he's trying to get home a little bit earlier. And anyway, later on he says, he comes in and he says, Charlene, he said, you're going to be very upset with me. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, I got a ticket. And I said, for what? And he said, oh, I, I traveled home on the new highway and I got stopped by a police officer and he gave me a ticket. My exact words to him, Jack, was, go pay it. It hurt his feelings, but I said, go pay it. You're no better than anybody else. It cost him $189. And uh, I'm saying that to say, I believe in fairness. We're all the same. What goes for one goes for everybody, you know. And so that's how I stand on fairness. And the citizens of Red Bay can, can believe that I'm going to treat people right. And the moral of the story is, if you break the law, you pay, right? Exactly right. Even if it's your husband, Even right? if it's your husband. So, uh, right. Jerry Paul, uh, <laughs> I, I guarantee he didn't get on the highway before it officially opened again, no, right? No, that, that was a lesson well learned. Uh, let's talk about the uh, police department. Um, Red Bay, of course, is blessed with a great police department. Fantastic. You know, and there's mm -hmm. a, uh, I don't know how to say this, nationwide there seems like there's uh, people against police departments, and that's definitely not the case in Red Bay, Alabama. And, and even in most of the places that we know about, but in some areas it seems like they're trying to turn people against our police department, the people that protect us. Uh, mm -hmm. Your thoughts about our local police well, department? Well, I tell you what, I'm compassionate when you talk about our police department. Um, I've served on the police committee for eight years now, and uh, I worked with uh, our, a lot of our uh, employees years ago as city clerks. Some of them are still here, and uh, we all have a great relationship. We all respect each other. Uh, I know what they do, how they work, they go over and beyond to help citizens. You know, we're not ticket happy in Red Bay. We don't want to be, we want to help people. And so um, Jana Jackson, our police chief, she will tell you that when a new officer is hired, for instance, they're going to get the little chit chat from Charlene. And uh, we, I discuss with new employees uh, how we care about our city, how we de uh, demand respect for our citizens. and. Uh, we uh, have an open door policy to talk about things. And so, uh, you know, there, there's no secrets, there's no surprises. We have things straight out on the table. You know, we talk about things, Jack. And I know our police department goes over and beyond to help people. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Charlene Fetcher, our special guest. You're watching, of course, the political forum. And if you just happen to tune in, of course, our special guest, Charlene Fetcher, who wants to be the next mayor for the city of Red Bay and uh, Charlene that's uh, quite a huge list of priorities uh, you'd have to see uh, Charlene's priorities it's, <laughs> it's a huge list and I'm sure there's even more but uh, quite a list of priorities. I want to uh, touch on a, a subject uh, Jack that's been uh, of my concern for a long time I'm sure the uh, council members right now can talk about this too but uh, you know, health care is another area that's very compassionate with me. You know, you can have everything in the world, Jack, but if you don't have your health, you have nothing. Yeah. Uh, I'm really concerned about our, our present ambulance service that we have. And I'm at the, I work at the hospital. You know, I hear it from uh, our police department. I hear it from citizens, and they, and they talk to me about their concerns about it. But I'm concerned about our response time with the ambulance service. You know, ambulance service and the response time is a matter of life and death. And, uh, and I know that that's in process right now. We have a, uh, a contract that's countywide, and, and they're going back to the drawing board. And I believe October the 6th, they will be looking at new bids for a new ambulance service. But regardless of who it is for our ambulance service, I'm going to be on full patrol about that 24-7. We're going to have an ambulance in Red Bay. 
Uh, if that doesn't uh, continue and get better with our response times, then we need to make a change. It may be that we have to step out on our own or whatever we got to do, but we need to take care of our citizens. Like I said, it's life and death. That's very important to me. Charlene Fancher, once again, a mayor's race, and we're talking October the 4th. Folks, that is this coming Tuesday. And I don't know where you've uh, made plans to get out there to vote Tuesday night, but do uh, mm -hmm. not let this day pass without going out and voting. Uh, uh, you've got from 7 in the morning till 7 at night, and of course, we'll be there covering all the election mm -hmm. returns like last time. We'll have it live. And you'll be able to listen to TV 12, uh, also WRMG AM 1430, the brand new 97.9. And I'll have a microphone looking on the window. And as soon as they post it, you'll be the first to hear it. And you don't have to worry about it coming down. Uh, believe it or not, this time it's going to be dark when they post it yes, up. Or I'll have to have a flashlight. That's stuff. right. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, we're going to move into the closing remarks. I know uh, Charlene uh, is still going to work up to the last minute to earn your vote if she hadn't had a chance to. But Charlene, I'm going to give you a chance with your own cameras always for some closing remarks today. Charlene Fancher, who wants to be your next mayor for the city of Red Bay. Charlene. Thank you, Jack. And thank you again for the opportunity to be here again Appreciate today. Uh, I want to say to the citizens of Red Bay, I thank you for all your acts of kindness and support you've given me during this campaign to be the next mayor of Red Bay. Uh, the love for my hometown is genuine, and I seek this position for all the right reasons. I have made every attempt to visit every home or household in Red Bay. If for some reason I have not had an opportunity to talk with you, I sincerely apologize. Uh, I encourage you to contact me by phone at 256-460-0288, or you can uh, contact me by uh, my email address. It's charlenefancher at yahoo.com. Uh, when you go to the polls on Tuesday, October the 4th, uh, please remember or, or think about the words of proven leadership. You know, those words have been said many times during this entire three months of campaigning. Three, uh, proven leadership is defined by commitment and uh, respect, honesty, uh, years of commitment to my community, and the ability to produce quality results. Um, I am the proven leader for this job. I've been preparing for a long time. I'm very excited to work for you, the citizens of Red Bay, and uh, I will make you proud, and uh, I will bring progress to Red Bay. You can count on that, and I would sincerely appreciate your vote on October the 4th. Thank you very much. And that's this Tuesday. Yes. Charlene Fancher, our special guest, and of course we appreciate Jerry Paul for being with us today. And I don't know how good of terms you're going to be on with uh, Jerry Paul after telling that story about him, but. Uh, he has been <laughs> right there with you early morning to light and your family as well. He has. You've I, been blessed. Jack, uh, regardless of anything, um, it's all about teamwork. And I'm telling you, my family has, has poured their heart and soul into this campaign to help me and to, and to help me talk to folks. And, and Jerry Paul, oh my goodness, he's been my greatest cheerleader. Can't thank him enough. He's cooked about every meal that we've had for three months and uh, he's kept us going. And, uh, I thank him and love him from the bottom of my heart. Sounds good. Thank you again. Thank you, Appreciate Jack. you very thank much. Thank you so much. Charlene Fancher, our special guest. Appreciate Denise on the controls as always. And folks, we invite you to go to the polls and vote for mayor for the city of Red Bay on October the 4th. Once again, the polls open at 7, they close at 7, and we'll be there to cover it all for you. Once again, thank you for joining us today on the Political Forum. Y'all have a great day.